Hi, and thank you for visiting my channel. For more information, kindly subscribe and follow. Now let's get started. A wrestling veteran recently gave his thoughts on a major claim made by real-life Bloodline member Rikishi about WWE superstar Jacob Fatu's rumored backstage confrontation with Triple H. The veteran in question is Conan. Jacob has already made a huge name in world wrestling entertainment by winning the WWE Tag Team Championship alongside Tama Tonga. However, during an edition of SmackDown, Solo Sokoa ordered the Samoan Werewolf to give his title to Tonga Loa. Following this segment, a rumor started circulating on social media about an alleged backstage confrontation between the company's CCO, Triple H, and Jacob Fatu. However, Rikishi recently debunked this and assured Jacob would never disrespect the game. During an edition of Keeping It 100, wrestling veteran Conan agreed with Rikishi's comments, saying that he knew Jacob Fatu personally and did not believe that the latter would do anything like that with Triple H. Well, let me say this. I know Rikishi, I know Jacob Fatu very well, and that does not sound like him. He would never do that. And he, Rikishi, is correct. If you try him, Jacob, he will F asterisk asterisk K you up. But I'm so happy for him, one of the nicest guys in the business. He's been through a lot, he said. 203 to 228, WWE legend Rikishi believes Jacob Fatu is being pushed too fast during an edition of his Off the Top podcast. Rikishi said that he believed that WWE was pushing Jacob Fatu too fast. The Hall of Famer added that he wanted the company to let Jacob show off his talent in different matches before facing someone like Cody Rhodes. I'm not surprised. Again, it goes down to where, this is my humble opinion, I think Jacob's being pushed too fast. When you go to Cody, where do you go from there? Cody is the guy right now. I've said this before, let Jacob rampage through the whole roster and give him those enhancement matches to build him. We've seen Jacob, however long he's been on, but is there anything different? You can only do so much on a run-in. This is me. This is what I'm saying. You really want to go with a guy, show his talent. Put him out there, let him have a match-match, a squash match, just so he can show his potential of what else this kid can do, he said. It will be interesting to see what the Triple H-led promotion has planned for the Samoan Werewolf's future. Tensions are said to have hit an all-time high during a recent WWE event when rising wrestling star Jacob Fatu, member of the legendary Anoa'i family, reportedly had a heated backstage confrontation with none other than Triple H. While rumors had been swirling around the industry, a veteran close to the situation has now doubled down on a major claim initially made by Rikishi. According to Rikishi, Jacob Fatu is not someone you want to mess with, and if provoked, he will F asterisk asterisk K you up. This remark may have sounded like typical wrestler bravado at first, but according to the veteran who spoke exclusively to wrestling insiders, the situation between Fatu and Triple H was anything but scripted. The tension has been bubbling beneath the surface for months, and this confrontation may have sparked the beginning of a dangerous feud that could rock WWE to its core. The Anoa'i family legacy in Jacob Fatu's rise Jacob Fatu, the son of Rikishi and cousin to Roman Reigns, has been making waves in the wrestling world for his unique combination of raw power, athleticism, and a no-nonsense approach to the business. As a member of the prestigious Anoa'i family, which includes legends like The Rock, Yokozuna, and Umaga, Fatu has big shoes to fill, but his recent performances have proven he is more than capable of carrying on the family's legacy. Having already dominated the independent scene with his reign as MLW World Heavyweight Champion, Jacob Fatu has long been on WWE's radar. While talks of him joining the main roster have surfaced on and off, there has always been some hesitancy from both sides. Fatu is known for his aggressive, no-filter attitude, and while his wrestling style has drawn comparisons to his cousin Roman Reigns, his backstage demeanor has reportedly ruffled feathers within WWE's management, Triple H in particular. The Tension Between Fatu and Triple H The tension between Triple H and Jacob Fatu isn't new. 
reports have surfaced that Triple H had concerns about bringing Fatu into WWE, citing his volatile temperament and unpredictable nature. While there is no denying Fatu's talent, Triple H's position as a key decision maker in WWE has allowed him to be more selective about who gets called up. According to insiders, Fatu has felt slighted, believing his lineage and success outside WWE should have guaranteed him a fast track into the company. One source close to the situation revealed that Rikishi had approached Triple H on multiple occasions, vouching for his son and urging the WWE legend to give Jacob a fair shot. However, things apparently went south during a backstage event when Triple H and Fatu crossed paths. While details of the altercation were initially murky, the veteran insider doubled down on Rikishi's claims, stating that Fatu was not in the mood to play politics and went straight for Triple H. He doesn't care if you're the boss, the insider explained. Jacob Fatu doesn't play that game. He felt disrespected, and he was ready to let everyone know it, including Triple H. The confrontation, he will F asterisk asterisk K you up according to those who were backstage during the confrontation. Fatu and Triple H exchanged words after what was described as a tense discussion about Fatu's future in WWE. What started as a conversation quickly escalated into a heated exchange, with Fatu allegedly stepping toward Triple H, leaving several backstage personnel scrambling to defuse the situation. It was about to get ugly, real quick, said the veteran. Jacob wasn't backing down. Triple H has been in the game a long time, but even he knew that this was a different beast. Rikishi wasn't lying when he said his son would F asterisk asterisk K someone up if pushed. Reports suggest that Triple H, ever the professional, attempted to calm Fatu down, but the young star was far from placated. Several other wrestlers, including members of the Bloodline, are rumored to have intervened to separate the two, avoiding what could have been a catastrophic backstage brawl. Rikishi's words hold weight Rikishi has always been vocal about his son's potential and, more importantly, his demeanor. In past interviews, the WWE Hall of Famer has warned people not to underestimate Jacob Fatu simply because he isn't yet a mainstream name. My son will F asterisk asterisk K you up, Rikishi was quoted saying, emphasizing that Jacob isn't someone who will tolerate disrespect, regardless of who it comes from. The veteran insider backed up Rikishi's words, explaining that Jacob Fatu is a different breed of wrestler. He's not playing the politics game. He's here to fight, to dominate, and if you get in his way, he's not afraid to let you know what's up. This attitude is reportedly part of the reason why WWE has been hesitant to bring Fatu into the fold, despite his undeniable talent. Some within the company believe that Fatu's fierce independence and unwillingness to follow WWE's backstage rules could lead to conflict, which is exactly what played out between him and Triple H. What's next for Jacob Fatu? While the backstage confrontation has left many questioning Fatu's future in WWE, there is no doubt that he is a major force to be reckoned with. If the rumors are true, Fatu's relationship with Triple H may be damaged beyond repair, making his path to WWE even more difficult. However, the insider suggested that Fatu's rising popularity among fans and his undeniable skills in the ring might force WWE's hand. It's a tricky situation, said the source. On one hand, you've got Triple H, who's in control, and on the other, you've got Jacob Fatu, who is easily one of the hottest talents in wrestling right now. WWE knows that. The fans know that. But Jacob's not going to kiss the ring. If anything, this confrontation might have made him even more determined to succeed. The fallout for now, it seems the confrontation between Fatu and Triple H is being kept under wraps, with both sides refraining from making any public statements. However, Rikishi's claims, backed up by the veteran insider, have left the wrestling community buzzing. Fans are now wondering whether this backstage altercation will lead to a massive shift in WWE's approach to Jacob Fatu or if the fiery young star will continue to carve his own path outside the company. One thing is clear, Jacob Fatu's intensity and drive are not to be underestimated. As Rikishi warned, he will F asterisk asterisk K you up, and after the confrontation with Triple H, no one is likely to doubt it.